Hey guys, I'm Kiara, or better known as Kiki, and welcome to a new series I'm starting where I review animators across the community. I will be choosing well-known or underrated animators and giving my opinion and constructive criticism on their content, whether being positive or negative. This idea is inspired by Question Turkey, who does an amazing job at this, so go check out their channel, which I'll leave in the description. I will also not be reviewing any animators which they have already reviewed. Today I will be reviewing a fairly well-known animator, who has been inspiring my art style quite recently, their name being Kill All Flies, with about 27,500 subs. They post fairly frequently with animations that I absolutely love, and just looking at their homepage, the first thing I notice is a lot of pink. A lot of it. And you know what? I love it. <laughs> I find this colour code really nice to look at, and it gives their channel a theme which would easily draw viewers in. Their first video was posted about a year ago, being the U86 meme, so let's check that out. Okay, so their art style is really nice to look at, and as a first video, it's pretty good. However, there are parts where the editing doesn't look right and just makes the image fuzzy. I know that this effect works sometimes, but in this case, I don't think it worked very well. On top of that, there wasn't much movement other than two frames going back and forth between different scenes. Overall with this video, I think that the drawing is pretty good, but the editing and animation needs a lot of work. For a first animation on YouTube though, it's pretty good, and I would probably rate this a 3 out of 10. Their best video, in my opinion, would probably be their Pink Wine original meme. I really like this animation, and I think it's their best one, as the animation is really smooth, the colours work perfectly, and the drawings are just so good it gives me chills. I can tell that a lot of work has been put into this, as the timing is absolutely perfect, and I can barely find any flaws in the editing. Above that, I love all the details she puts into the clothes, hair, and fur. It really makes all the difference. Honestly, I don't really have anything bad to say except maybe working on the expressions a bit to make sure that the audience knows exactly what emotion the character is conveying. But then again, I make this mistake all the time, so I'm not really one to talk. I would rate this animation an 8 out of 10 as far as animation memes go. There isn't really a great amount of animation, but where there is, it looks really good and the editing and tweeting is on point. My favourite video from them is their solo meme. I wanna but I'm broken hearted Cry, cry, cry since the day we parted Touch, touch, touch But I got nobody so I do it so No, it's so good, so good, absolutely love this animation. I find it really clever how it starts off as a stereotypical solo meme, but then diverts off into her own original twist. I myself have never really been a fan of doing the popular memes, as they are everywhere, especially if every single one looks exactly the same. So when I started watching this, I was like, oh boy, it's another one, but then was corrected with the viewing of the second part, which I find really amazing. As said in the last video, the colours are amazing and the editing is on point. There is a fair bit of animation, whether that be tweeting or frame by frame, though there are parts where there isn't any animation, but has editing over the top to hide that. 
like the scene with the girl holding flowers and the end part. I find this a little bit lazy, sorry I don't really like saying that, but I still loved it and the detail of the drawings compensated for the lack of animation in those parts. The tweening at the start is really good because almost every part of her is moving. I would give this animation a 7 out of 10, I really loved it. Now there are a few things about their channel which I feel as if I should discuss. Quite a bit of their content is not really child friendly, being clips of smoking, drinking alcohol and drug abuse. And as the animation meme community being a majority of very young children, I don't feel as if this is very appropriate. Now I'm not just calling out Kill or Fly for this because I see this all over the animation meme community. Another example being Sleepy Kink. I find this an issue because putting these kinds of things as a subliminal animation sugar coated in pink makes a younger audience think that this is fine. I know this because I see young children animating similar things. I think that animators that have all these children looking up to them, being inspired by them, should present a good example rather than a bad one. That being said, Kill or Flies is over 18 and can do what they want, but I would just recommend putting a disclaimer in the title. Anyway, getting on to their animation methods. I really like their art style and is really detailed and nice to look at, and is really unique. However, with such a complicated OC and style, I can only imagine how difficult it is to animate a lot. Because of this, I can see why they are forced to only animate a little bit and tween or present images instead. I feel as if the only solution to this would be to simplify their art style a bit in order to make animation faster and more efficient. We do see this in a few animations already. Their art style how it is, however, is really crisp and nice as the attention to detail is very evident. I feel as if they are fairly underrated for their talent and should get more recognition. I'm sick of seeing animators who barely spend any time on their animations and getting so much attention for it, while I see people like Kill or Fly spend time on amazing animations like this and barely get the recognition they deserve. Nonetheless, they do have over 27,000 subs, which is about you know, 26,500 more than me, so, you know, they're not doing too bad. <laughs> Overall, I'm going to give their channel a 7 out of 10. Their animations and art style is really nice and I love watching their content. Though there could be more animation in places, which I understand is hard, be it with a detailed style, and I feel as if some of their content doesn't suit the younger audiences. I personally love their channel and will keep supporting them, and as should you. I recommend subscribing to them. Okay, that's it for my first review. God, the script took forever to write and the drawings took forever to draw, so you best subscribe. Haha, <laughs> that's a joke. Maybe. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you around. Bye!